Jake, thank you so much for joining us on Footy Feed. Let's begin with last week against the Hawks. How was it going into quarter time, trailing for the first ever time in your career? Um, yeah, it's a cool fact. Um, I tried, I didn't really take note of it too much, but yeah, the Hawks came out hard and yeah, we paid the price in the first sort of quarters and yeah, I think we responded well. Do you appreciate the magical start you've had to your AFL career? 14 games for 14 wins, including a flag. Do you still pinch yourself at times? Um, yeah, it definitely doesn't feel real. Like going into games every week, expecting that you're going to win and yeah, coming out with a win every week. So yeah, I'm stoked. But yeah, I, I feel like if I was to lose that it wouldn't, I wouldn't be disappointed in any way with the way I've been playing and the way the team's going, so. Do you cop a bit of flack, a little bit of stick from your teammates though? Because I know Stephen May, he had to wait 168 games to play his first ever final and you're just making it look easy. Yeah, the, uh, the backs give it to me a fair bit. <laughs> Troy Chaplin, our backs coach, likes to say that I've got no idea how lucky I am and <laughs> I agree with him, so yeah, I'm pretty privileged. Is it true that you're known as the difference here? Um, <laughs> uh, they were calling me the leprechaun and all that, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I try not to go that far into it, but it's been good. So Jake, this Sunday you come up against the Saints. It's the club your dad, Brett, played 85 games for. Is it fair to say that you were a mad little Sainter? Ah, uh, yes, I was probably the maddest. Um, <laughs> there's probably a still little soft spot for them, but yeah, ultimately I'm pretty excited to play them. Who did you grow up idolising? Brendan Goddard, another sort of redhead. <laughs> uh, Lenny Hayes and Nick Del Sano. And what of your dad, Brett? What, what do people tell you about the way he played? Um, well, he was small, in stature like me. Uh, I guess he was pretty tough, he used to tell me. Um, he said he was pretty good kick too. He said he used to hit plugger on the tit a fair <laughs> bit. Uh, so, yeah, a bit, yeah, we're pretty similar. What has he made of your journey so far? And I guess especially one that he hasn't really been able, well, he wasn't able to watch you last year in that, in that premiership. What's he made of it all? Is it quite surreal for him as well? Um, yeah, he's, he thinks it's his career as well, which I don't mind him saying that. He actually came up to me yes, last night and said, we're playing our 100th game this week because he played 85 and this is my 15th. So yeah, he's, he's pretty invested and I love, I love seeing him and mum at games every week, so it's pretty special. And what was the experience like of playing that grand final in, in WA and knowing that your family weren't there, were you straight on to the FaceTime, like how did that all pan out? It was crazy to be there, like I wasn't expecting to play games at all and then to play in a grand final and then to win was, it's hard to put into words. Um, yeah, and then for mum and dad to be at home was, I guess it sucked, but yeah, I was straight on the FaceTime after the game. Dad had had a few and kept calling me, so yeah, it was pretty unreal. And of course, you've come to Melbourne at a time where you know everyone's talking about them as being perhaps unbeatable again, but are you aware of the recent history of the club and you know some of the hard times that some of your teammates, like a Jack Varney, like a Max Gorn, have gone through? Yeah, I definitely take note in how their careers have shaped for them, but yeah, we are in a pretty good spot at the moment and yeah, obviously not losing a game, it's, it's pretty crazy and yeah, sort of just going each week, great for to play in the side first of all and then to trade out here with all the boys is, is great. So two Rising Star nominations for you, a great start to your career personally and the most recent coming in round two, do you reckon you're a sneaky chance to add another little medal to your collection, your growing collection? Yeah, um, I li I'd like to follow in the steps of Luke Jackson, Dogger, that'd be pretty cool, but yeah, ultimately I'm just here to yeah, play footy and win games, which I have done pretty well. So if that did happen, I'd, yeah, I wouldn't take it for granted either. So, Do you keep a close eye on who else is getting nominated and, and I guess the people or, or the boys that were in your draft years that you might be going up against for those kind of awards and even just those future battles? Um, I was pretty close with Nick Dacos in the academy in Metro, Vic Metro, um, but yeah, I'm always on social media, so I, it always pops up every now and then. So I wouldn't say I'm keeping a close eye on it, but it definitely lingers in my mind. Yes, my colleague Cal Toomey, he tells me that you're pretty active on social media. What's that all about? Yeah, I'm probably a bit out there. I, just, <laughs> I like to f 
see how Christian Petrarca does it. He's still an idol of mine, but yeah, I like my fashion and stuff, so. And so the Saints on Sunday, who's Dad going for? <laughs> Tough one, I don't really know that either, so I think there's a little, he'll probably be going for St Kilda, but he supports me individually as a footballer, so hopefully I'll get him to wear a Melbourne scarf. Jake, best of luck against the Saints this weekend and congratulations on that collective 100th game. Thank you very much and thanks for having me.